Okay, today we're going to be looking at uh, basically taking a loop that's at a certain uh, tempo uh, and changing the tempo. So if you needed to, uh, if you had a bunch of loops and you wanted to convert them all to a different tempo without changing the pitch or anything, we're going to use Road Band to do that. You may have watched uh, other tutorials in this series um, that may have shown you how to change the speed, but now we want to give an exact tempo. We're going to move from one tempo to another. Let me quickly play a file for you here. It's the only file in this folder, it's called loop wave, and it is a just a simple loop I made in jack beat at 100 beats uh, per minute. Cue to quit out of that. Uh, I looped it a few times, not just one, one measure there, but um, uh, if we go into a program like our door here, and as you can see I have this set to 120 beats per minute, our loop file is only 100 beats per minute. Let me go ahead and I'm going to say import and I'm going to import that file. If I drag it over here, you can see it does not line up properly. We're off by quite a bit. Now, now uh, Ardor does have a built-in little feature right here, this stretch where you can stretch it and resize it like so and it will do it. Basically what we're going to do from the command line, but I'm going to show you how to do that from the command line. So going back to our terminal screen here, Let's clear everything out. Once again, we have our original wave file here, loop wave. We're going to use rubber band, which will probably not be installed by default, but should be in your repositories. Use whatever package manager you prefer to install it. Just search rubber band, it should come up. And we're going to say, um, well, let's have a look at the help file. We want to change the tempo, which right here with a capital T, you have two options. And we're going to look at, since we know it's 100 uh, beats per minute, we're going to change it from one tempo to another. So we're just going to say uh, rubber band dash capital T. We know that it's 100 beats per minute, colon, and we want to change it to 120 beats per minute. Our original file is loop wave, and we'll create a new one. We'll just call it one dot wave. We'll hit enter. And there we go. If we list it out, you can see there's the two files. I'm going to M player to play both of them. And it should play the new one first. If we're going alphabetically, you'll hear that it's faster than the second one, which is our original, which is a slower tempo. So I quit out of that. As you could have heard, it was didn't change the pitch at all, but changed the tempo. It went from the original being about nine seconds down to about eight seconds. And if we go back into our door here and we say session import, we can choose our one wave, apply that. And if we drag it over here, you can see it properly lines up perfectly. It is four measures long. Um, so there's that. Let's go ahead and change the tempo of this. Let's change it to 200. I'll apply that. And you can see uh, our first one actually lines up properly because it's 100 beats per second, so it divides evenly. But let's go ahead and change the tempo to, of that uh, original file. Once again, we're going to change it from this time, rubber band dash T uh, 100. Then we're going to change it to 200 beats per minute. And we will rename, we'll say this is wave two as our output. Okay, so we come in here, I'll say import to apply. And if we look here, there we go. We have the new beat at uh, double the speed, so double the tempo. And uh, I'll go back into the terminal here and I'll say M player two, and we'll listen to what it sounds like at double the tempo. So as you can hear, Roadband does a great job at uh, uh, changing the tempo without really distorting the sound too much. The, the, the pitch is the same, and things don't sound too distorted. Let's go the other route this time, though, and we're going to say Roadband dash capital T. Remember, it is case sensitive, because the lowercase t is just for timing. And we're going to change it from 100 beats per minute. We'll do 60 beats per minute. And we're going to change it, let's say the output is 3. Now, it will automatically override a file without prompting you. So if I left that at 2, it would override our 2 wave. Um, and let's go ahead and listen to our 3 wave. So this is at 60 beats per minute.
So I'll hit Q to kill that. And as you know, yeah, you're going to get some distortion the more you manipulate it, but uh, still sounds pretty decent. I'm going to import that right here, drag it over here, and if I change this project, edit tempo to uh, 60 beats per minute, you'll notice that it now lines up properly right there on that line. Um, you know, our 120 beats per minute obviously seems like it's lining up too because they're evenly divided, but uh, if you've worked at all with music, you know what I'm talking about uh, as far as the tempo here. So, once again, if you check out the first link in the description, should be a link to my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with, the, with a K, uh, and I should have these commands typed out for you in that first link. So, you, if you missed something, go ahead and check those notes. And uh, I hope that you visit my site, filmsbychris.com, Chris with a K, uh, and I hope that you have a great day. Thanks for watching.